Donna Brophy. Weather rates certified 11 years in a row. A storm system impacting portions of the state. It's cloud cover down there in southern Utah, which you actually can see on our Southern Utah University Network camera temperature sitting at 76 degrees. Pleasant in southern Utah with that warming trend. And in the north, well, we've got some rain out there. You notice it on the ABC4 camera here, the Colonial Flag Tower camera showing the winds coming from the north and we've got wet weather out there that has managed to fill in. It's not just impacting Salt Lake County. As we zoom in and get closer, you're able to see that rain extends from the Ogden Valley into Weber and Davis counties, as well as the backside of the Wasatch, where we've got some snow towards Heber and some rain and snow mixing in in Summit County. Tooele also active. The radar just sweeping the region, giving you that accuracy when it comes to I-80, the Rush Valley, and rain over the lake. So active conditions out there and we get a soggy evening and overnight as we get into our Saturday and head towards the weekend. Temperatures right now below average 46 degrees. We've got 40s and 50s along the Wasatch Front. Warmer in Provo than Salt Lake. That cold front making its way through, changing the wind direction and dropping those daytime highs a bit. 58 in Moab, 76 as I mentioned down there in the southwest corner of the state. Along the Wasatch Front, we get soggy conditions for the next couple of hours. Now it seems like we're going to stay mild and hold, but the one thing that will be consistent will be the wet weather, and that's as we get through the next couple of hours. Futurecast shows us what's going on right now. We're going to walk through the timing here. We've got rain in the West Desert, snow in the high country with that winter weather advisory in effect, and that's going to impact us as we get through the evening. Here we are by 9 p.m. View pockets of isolated showers includes over into Willow County and the central portion of the state, as well as some of that pushing towards Moab and Grand County with that northwesterly flow. The extreme southern portion of the state stays dry, clear skies and quiet conditions. Maybe a few isolated showers as we head into early tomorrow morning. Here we are just after midnight and through the morning hours we'll see cloud cover and chilly conditions, but we're going to start to dry out. That wraparound moisture kind of moves a little too far away. We stay quiet for our Saturday and then into Sunday we start to see some changes. A little bit of a short wave coming through. The model picking that up, bringing the potential for some precipitation to the southwest corner of the state. We'll keep our eye on that. St. George looks to skirt around it, but Iron County and towards Kanab bring the chance of some rain moving in. Here we are by Sunday at 5 p.m. Our next major storm system, well, not so major, but another storm on the way Monday into Tuesday. That trough's going to slide in and impact northern Utah. Let's talk about the one impacting us right now. Winter weather advisory in effect for our mountains because we're going to see snow. Let's zoom in. The area is getting rain anywhere from a trace to a quarter of an inch expected when all is said and done with the storm. Western Uintas will do well. Cottonwoods will do well. Two to eight for the northern mountains, but with the cottonwoods, we could see some isolated totals between six and 12, so we know they will perform and they will do well with a northwesterly flow. Salt Lake Marathon is this weekend. That's into tomorrow. We're going to dry things out, so runners, lace up and be ready for cooler temperatures as you make it through lunchtime. Best of luck if you are hitting the pavement when it comes to the marathon. 40s and 50s out there tomorrow. Slight warming trend. Warmer air by the latter half of the weekend. 65 in Moab, 60 in Cedar, and 78 in St. George. Speaking of Washington County, taking a look at the next seven days, we get some 80s on the map here, and the wind's picking up. Now, we see the temperatures dropping 80s to 70s Monday into Tuesday because that cold air will filter in, but it won't bring wet weather as of right now. That could change. We're going to monitor it closely. Hey, tomorrow's Earth Day. Hope you show your mother or some love. 50s in Salt Lake, 70s in St. George, and we will see a drying trend through Sunday. Things start to change, though, with that next system impacting us Monday and into Tuesday. Things changing by the middle of next week. Stay on top of the forecast by downloading the ABC4 weather app. Snap a picture of this. Here it is. It's a QR code. Grab your phone. This QR code takes you to the App Store where you can download the app for free.